So the use cases maybe that's you have it like different than our use cases. Yeah, that's I think so. So and if I go to the top uh, uh, the bottom level, so we have a tables, so all things together and very simple HTML and CSS. This is the most important one. So we have some loading loading geo 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 data sets from external javascript files that's what i mean you see the geojson data set and geojson data set that's that's the data set that's we have it or you get it from from different sources from the geo server or from uh, geojson io or you customer side they put it you all the data and then you 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 save this data as a as a as a as a, as a JSON, the JavaScript files and then data is containing these files. So all data is containing fill these files and this you just simply call these these variables JavaScript variables into the your your load mapping or into the maps and the, add the maps in these variables and automatically build the JavaScript file. That's why I said this is the really really professional way to do. That's that's I mean how can you how can do the, this one please follow the the structure that i, I described described and because of this professional way the beginners is hard to understand but i if i believe if you get it you get really professional way to do that's i mean so and this is the one of the critical example that i have it so we have it so all the data that's I said I will show you later how can you build these data sets. So we have some points, some points data sets if it's a geometry type. Oh, let's have a talk about it bit in detail about this structure of the of the of the GeoJSON file. Normally the GeoJSON file it's containing the type of the of the collections, feature collections, and then it has features and feature has a has has features many features it has a type features and then it has a properties if you see the properties like pop-up content that's I it depending this it can maybe hundreds of properties doesn't matter thousands of properties you can put it here but this is the properties attribute uh, and then you have a geometry attribute and then you have some uh, types what type of geometry it is the points and then coordinates so that means you have a type feature collections features features type its properties geometry and then type of the geometry and its coordinates points if you see that this is the one of the strong one examples so i have a points point geometry it has features many many points is there py point of interest this has a features property like apartment apartment house one two three and it has it has no properties it's already set on the properties pop up properties set and in this has a points and then it has a coordinates and then this is then second the third one if you see that same pictures it has a it has um, features it has a more properties and it has a style with that one if you see the pictures like that styling means uh, the colors of the uh, of your 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 different images so it's like this the, so if you see the colors you can change you can build what you like to do depending inside the your your JavaScript files. So that's that's the geometry points coordinate. It has some some polygons. So you see the red lines, uh, red points, uh, red red center points. That's that's uh, the point that we are talking about. Maybe this is the red center points. You have all the possibility. That's how I said I will discuss a little bit later part of this information. How can you build? How can you before the after the generating the files from the different sources <clears throat> so feature type is everything same we said road networks this is the exactly same the feature collection features type features and the type and then line string geometry and the points all the coordinates points for the for these lines the, the let's say road networks of the of your, your building tools so as you see the here the geometry again the line string there's a collections of geometry and the features and and then type of the each of the line string has their own coordinates points and if you say the plan for developments it's these are feature collections containing uh, containing the polygons and and it's containing also the uh, poly to polygons and the line string and the points i mean the how the how i mean if you have the feature collection with that doesn't matter 
this is one of the pizza collections so it has a polygon two polygons and it has a line string and it has a point point of interest that's what i mean so it doesn't matter uh, which feature collections what type of geometry inside the your feature collection had it doesn't matter it's the, it doesn't matter it's completely free maybe you have just completely like you call client data geo data maybe there's only the plots informations or buildings information or building flow informations or it's combined together the road network information is one file and you have the plots information or building information other files maybe the the flow information other files or other other maybe electricity or gas or water supply lines maybe other files just doesn't matter if he has a feature collections what type of geometry it is completely free for the for the library or for for any any javascript library like openplate or open layer it, it can handle anything you do but you need to program it like systematic way that's my intention how can how it possible to program it a systematic way depending on the what geometry type you have how can you do it how can you build it how can you be make really efficient functional uh, functional geo programming you can do it so and then you have some some geometry and other plots information so is exactly the same thing again and again it has a uh, features uh, properties the property layer properties and nothing there it has geometry polygons coordinates and this is the geojson input and this is the the geojson file that's i already recorded here that's i, I try to show you and this is the plot geo server from the geo server file how can you get this data from the geo server that's thing i try to give it to you and i will try to try to show you how it works together so let's let's now we get a basic idea so we have some data from different sources from from your geo server services or from from internet from maybe from a geo server uh, or geo uh, geo geoson io server and then or maybe you you get the data from your clients or you have a static data into the your file systems and you can visualize those data into the files and this is the intention how can you do this as a professional way to build this uh, as a, as a web uh, web js really efficient way web js applications so let's have a very very fast how can you generate the 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 geojson file uh, from from geo server so that means i already i already defined the the all the my geo geo services i already started my geo server if you look the the consoles if you see the geo server started the port number local host 777 and geo server started and i'm hitting the every time the the my geo server and see that information how can how can geo server logged in information into the see the information those who are no experience about the geo server and they can learn it from my channels and get it for very cool properly so that means we we, we communicate and uh, geo server with both gis database build the services and then after the service published and then call the services into the into the your respective web pages the will font and technology that's i mean so how can you build this, the GeoJSON? If you see the pictures, those who have experienced, so my Geo server is running 777 Geo server. This is the web portal. Now I have a lot of the uh, layers and storage, and then so on, so forth. All functionalities there. So you can, if you define your service, it doesn't matter which service you have defined, and you can export this data export is the data into the in as a as a as a geojson format so if i go to the here if you see the pictures like wms the web uh, web maps services format and then web feature services format under the web feature services uh, format uh, that means this web feature service you have a lot of on click event functionality you can click it and see the pictures uh, information for respective geometry or respective features this is the only possible with the wfs service to do MNS service just like simply some SBG or some PG, JPG format, you cannot you cannot explain you cannot take the uh, the pop up or features information from those those services. That's why you need to when you build a, an interactive uh, uh, web application, interactive information to track or to, to detect or to pop up. 
uh, from the features you need to be published as a user service as a WFS service and then you can export